Hello everybody, I'm Charles Kanufke, I'm the Western Regional Manager for Wattstopper and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how you can take a DLM system and actually add network connectivity to it. The device that we use to actually be able to control the relay panels and all the individual devices, we refer to that as our segment manager. The segment manager basically is an interface device. It's almost like a little mini computer inside a plastic device that was built for a rigorous environment. It's a server class device that goes in, let's say, into an a electrical closet or an HVAC room. And now we can go out of one segment on that device and be able to go out to up to 127 rooms. We have a segment manager actually that has three individual segments, and so those three segments can go up to a total of 381 rooms. That's an awful lot of control and more controls than most facilities would ever need. I do know that anybody out there in the field who's looking at this screen is saying, well, hold it, I see that device, I see what you're showing me, and you can't fool me, I know that, I buy that all the time. That's a tritium jace. The fact is, you're absolutely right. The tritium jace is the device that we use. We buy that, we put our own firmware on it, and we send it out as a segment manager. However, what that does do is it gives you a clue to the fact that if you wanted to, you could actually use a segment manager, uh, sorry, a tritium jace from somebody else plug into that BACnet network and then have them be able to talk to the rooms via BACnet right through their Tritium device. So basically what Wattstopper does is we buy this device, we put our firmware on it, and then it's got its own little capability of going out and finding out all the different devices that we've got, all the network bridges that we've got in a network, and being able to automatically then create information about those as to what's inside the room, what all those settings are. And a room could be a single device inside it, with DLM or it could be up to 64 devices inside a room depending on the type of device that we've got. So the segment manager basically is out talking to all these rooms on via BACnet MSTP and then on the other side it's got an Ethernet connection point. So basically somebody could come up with their laptop, connect right into one of these segment managers and then be able to talk and have basically uh, screens come up that help them identify what's going on inside the room. One of the key things that we've worked on is to try to make sure that there's a lot of automatic things. Things just happen the way and set up properly, and so one of them is this idea of auto-discovery. You go into the segment manager, you bring up some of the basic screens, and one of the buttons that's there is identify rooms. And so when you hit that, it now goes out on the segment, figures out all the network bridges that are out there, collects all this information, and then basically rolls up this web page specifically based on your individual site. So the segment manager then can go in and it's important to understand you can have a segment manager talk to a single room with an LMRC 300 series that's got the built-in network bridge. It can be talking to a 200 series with a BACnet with the little individual BACnet bridge, the LMBC 300. It can talk to the 100 device in a room with the BACnet bridge and it can talk to a panel because the panel basically has got the BACnet bridge inside of it. One of the important things is to know you only need one device inside a room that's got a BACnet bridge or one of these per room. So if I've got six room controllers, each with three loads, I only need one LMBC 300 or one of those room controllers to be a 300 with the built-in segment man uh, with the built-in BACnet bridge. The others can just be the standard 200. So we're not asking you to buy a bunch of individual devices to be able to talk to each device individually in the room. We're asking you basically to buy one of these, whether it's external or internal, per room, and that gives you the capability of talking to everything inside that room. So here what you see is a little bit of the interface options, the ability to actually pull up a web browser, whatever browser you want, whatever flavor that you enjoy, and basically it will automatically create a web page that tells you everything that's going on. If you take a look at that screen, you'll see that on the left hand side, you've actually got segment manager, sorry, you've got the segment manager basically saying, here is the LMBC or the network bridge inside each room, and then here are all the devices that roll up underneath it. So now if I click on, let's say, an occupancy sensor in the room, on the right hand side I get to see the individual parameters for that occupancy sensor. That's where I can go in and change the time delays, I can change the sensitivities, and I can also define what should happen on normal hours and after hours. So if I did want to have that 20 minute time delay on normal hours, but only a 10 minute time delay for after hours, I'd be able to do that right here from this screen. We really hope that this is user friendly. We understand that Really, once all these devices get installed to the room, probably the facility engineer wants to forget about them, and what they're hoping to see is information on the screen that is going to be understandable and easy to use. 
There's also some thoughts about being able to provide some optional trending and historical tr uh, reports so that if you wanted to be able to say, well, tell me what's going on with this photo cell over a week's period, the segment manager in the future will be able to log those light levels and be able to identify what the top light level was for a week and what, uh, what hours lights should typically be going off.